We're competing at the Shoppers Tractor Tech Contest. So there's three components to this program, and we do it exactly like the, the state contest is going to be. Um, we have the quiz that these students do individually, and then we have component identification. Um, it's, it's also some tests and different things about the components that's done individually. And then as a three-person group with their school, they do tractor debugging, where we have tractors set up with actual problems or bugs, and the three-person group actually diagnoses them. They have 30 minutes to figure out the problems and drive the tractor around for points. Uh, come here today just to observe what's going on for this invitational tractor technicians contest that Shoppers puts on. We really want to, we really support this type of activity to promote this going to the state contest and this is beneficial this helps helps the state contest it helps these students understand what's going on as far as the tractor technicians contest the three major items that are going on the written test the component test and also the debugging which is identical to what we do at the state contest uh, today we came to compete in the Shapa Tractor Tech Contest. I brought five students down. We drove 607 miles for a little place in the road called Kelton, Texas. My team's a young team and we, we just thought we couldn't pass up the opportunity to uh, compete and get ready for our Area 1 Tractor Tech Contest that's January 15th. And that is all folks! Yay! <laughs> I got started in this when uh, Mr. Engelbrecht from Brazos got me in as a judge when I was a mechanic and so then once I started teaching school I, I got really involved with it and enjoy the program and, and ever since the uh, Shoppers has gotten involved in it uh, we like to come to this contest. This is one of the better ones that they put on. It's real industry things that we need to know that these kids need to know and it gives them a different perspective than some of the contests that are just put on by uh, teachers or educational type agencies. We get the real life industry side of it. Well, we didn't know what to expect. This is all our, this is my team's first year here. Um, our ag teacher, he told us what to look for and they come up with something completely different. Everything that come at us was new, so we don't know how we did, but we tried our best. Now, as far as uh, debugging, this is just, it's wonderful. It's a great learning experience for all the kids in the high schools that do participate. There have been so many multiple bugs over the years. Um, I've had some that we put the uh, put a two amp fuse in where a 20 amp belongs and it blows it and some of the students actually just select the same color fuse and it blows it again. Uh, some of it, some of the bugs, they've got to actually use mini tech manual, uh, retrieve fault codes and go into the manual and be able to diagnose each of the fault codes. Uh, there's, I've got many, many favorites, so they're, they're all fun uh, and challenging for the kids, and hopefully it helps them grow throughout the years, even if they don't choose this as a profession. Uh, it'll help develop the analytical thought processing. This year's been a little bit of a challenge because of the COVID went down to I think it was supposed to be 21 teams, I don't think, but 16 of them showed up. Years past, we've had as many as 38 teams to show up. So I guess this is the eighth year that we've put this on and figured like it's a pretty good idea. Uh, get the kids exposed to it and basically have an ulterior motive. I'm looking for technicians. And that's really our end game is to try to plant a seed that Shoppers is a great place to work, which it is, and to reach out to these students who are interested in being a tractor technician and in interested in this industry and plant a seed that we're a great place to work as they continue through high school and think about possibly uh, joining us with our sponsorship to Navarro College where we sponsor students to go and they get an associate's degree and they have a job when they come back and work for, for us. Um, and just trying to get our name out there and let them know that there are career opportunities in this industry, great career opportunities in this industry. They've, if this is their interest, they've picked a great field. <laughs>